Hey guys, it's Hafa, I'm back again and we're going to do some nail art today. So, uh, in my last video I was using a dotting tool and somebody commented that they really need to go buy themselves a dotting tool and I thought, well, you know, maybe, but you don't really need a dotting tool to do dots. So, I thought I would combine a couple of different ideas together. Um, so one of the things when you wear a nail polish is people complain quite a bit about tip wear, getting chipping and stuff, and how annoying it is to have to go back and paint your nails again. Which, you know, I totally understand. Uh, my natural nails, nail polish doesn't stay on my natural nails. Um, I have very oily nails, naturally. And, um, yeah, nail polish doesn't stick. Like, I'd be lucky if I can get 24 hours wear out of a normal nail polish. Now, of course, I don't have that problem if I have acrylic on my nails, which I do most of the time. Um, I also have very fine, well, not so much fine, but um, thin, weak nails, which has to do with the um, autoimmune disease that I have, which is Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid issue, and it affects the um, strength of your nails, apart from a bunch of other stuff. So for me, if I want to grow my nails long, I need to have something on them. A lot of the time when you see me with super long nails, it's actually my natural nail underneath a layer of acrylic. Um, that is the case on most of the time, but actually at the moment the only nail that that applies to is this thumbnail. That is actually the length of my natural nail underneath there with just acrylic over the top of it. I also prefer to wear my acrylics a little bit thicker than most people. It's just the preference um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I scratch a lot. The thicker the end of your nails are when you're scratching, the less damage you do to yourself. So, not that that really has anything to do with what we're doing today, but I just thought I would mention that, because some people do kind of ask. Um, so currently I have acrylic extensions on this hand, like sculpted acrylic extensions on this hand, and on this hand I actually have tips with um, acrylic over the top of them, um, mainly because this is my Cindy hand, my non-working hand, um, so I have to work with my left hand to do this hand. So my off hand, and it takes longer. I can I can sculpt, but it's just easier sometimes just to stick some tips on. Um, because I took my acrylics off and I cut my nails really short, and I lasted less than a week before I put acrylics back on. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's get on with what we're going to do today. So one of the things I'm going to talk about is other things that you can use to do dots on your nails instead of just a dotting tool. So I do have a dotting tool. Um, this one is a fairly small dotting tool. You can get them, usually you buy them in a set of five. You can play, get them from places like Wish and um, Born Pretty and Beauty Big Bang. Um, side note, Wish is like eBay. It is a uh, platform which sellers sell on. So uh, Born Pretty has a store on Wish, they also have a store on eBay, I believe, and on Amazon, and on Alibaba, or one of those ones, or Alexi Express, one of those. Um, so they don't just have their own website, they sell on other platforms as well. Um, yeah, so Wish is not a uh, independent seller, it's a platform that other people sell on. So, something to be aware of. Um, which has nothing to do with what we're doing. But <laughs> so you can get a pack of, they usually come in a pack of five, um, and they are different sizes on each end. Uh, I don't know if I've got, oh, I've got this one. So this one is another one that came in this set. Mine tend to end up all over the place, and I can never find them all at the same time. So this one has a really small end on this end. It's like quite small in comparison to this one. And these two are basically the same size. There's a, probably a mil difference. There's uh, lots of different sizes that you can get. Um, I also used to do polymer clay, so I actually had a dotting tool that came as part of my polymer clay, which has a much bigger uh, tip on the end of it, um, which I can't currently find at the moment. But anyway, um, yeah. But you don't have to have a dotting tool. There are actually things around your house that will work just as well. So one of them is, oops, if I can pick it up, uh, toothpick. 
just an ordinary toothpick. They work fine. You get smaller dots, but after a while you build up polish on the end of it and you get bigger dots. They work well. Uh, if you have um, an orange wood stick that you use to do when you're doing like your manicures and stuff, works the same as toothpick. Um, and bobby pins work particularly well. Um, use a bobby pin that you don't want to put in your hair and just open it up. And just use the bowl end. You can use the end of a dressmaking pin, you know, the ones with the bowls on the end of them. You could use the end of one of those. You can use a ballpoint pen that you're not using as a pen anymore. Uh, a pencil that you don't care to use as a pencil anymore. Anything that has a rounded end on it is going to work. So, yeah. You don't have to spend money buying tools to do a lot of nail art with. Only if you really want to. So, the other thing I'm going to use to today is, this is actually a stamping scraper, but really it's just to put nail polish on. You could use a Ziploc baggie, like a little Ziploc baggie. You could use a piece of plastic, um, a lid off of something else. So, like, I have this, you know, a lid like this, um, yogurt container, Anything that's basically plastic will work as basically a palette type thing because when you're dotting you want to put polish out on a surface to make it easier to actually do. Some people use alfoil even so anything like that will actually work. You can see oh, this is actually the one I used in my last tutorial because it's still all on there. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use a couple of polishes. Uh, I'm keeping it quite monochrome monochromatic today so we're going to work on this hand obviously um, on there I currently have three coats of this cotton candy nail polish from BYS which is an Aussie brand um, or a brand available in Australia a fairly cheap brand but works well it's just this is a super thin polish so I have to do three coats um, I'm also going to use this one here this is one of my new polishes. This is Rita Ora's Sweet Retreat from Rimmel. Like, Rita Ora collection has a lot of really nice, kind of almost pastel-y colours in it. Just plain cream colours, quite a lot of them. And I'm going to use this super duper bright pink. This is a whole lot of guava from CoverGirl. Again, a newer polish. So... When you have had your nails polished for a couple of days, sometimes you're going to get tip wear, you're going to get chipping. I'm actually going to zoom in so you can see the end of these nails. This has been on for um, probably 36 hours or something, even on acrylic. I've got, um, I didn't top coat, which doesn't help. <laughs> so I've got some tip wear going on here. Um, it's like I've got a little chunk coming out there. You know, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to extend the wear of this manicure using dots. So on our little plasticky surface we're just going to put some of each of the two brighter colours. I have pre-shaken these. Always remember to shake your polish before you use it. So we'll start with an ordinary dotting tool. Um, just to, so one idea that you can do is stamp or dot a line right on the end of your fingernail, which is where you're going to have the most chips and wear on most manicures. Then kind of do it again up a level and sort of if you get any gaps or anything just fill them in so you've just got a little bit of a it's almost like a french tip but with a wobbly edge on it which is fine because wobbly edges are fine and then take the other end of this dotting tool put it in the polish 
and just back from where you put the last from your edge. Just put a row of smaller dots. And what you get is kind of almost like a lacy type effect. You could make it more obvious as a lacy type effect by using your base polish, but I quite like using two different polishes. So you can see you've got quite a... it just hides the end of the nail and makes it look a bit better. And if you want, you see on the end of the nail how it's got no polish on it, is to take your nail polish brush, take off as much of the excess as possible, and just paint right across the end of the nail. Call that capping the tip. Um, do the same thing when you do your top coat and that will actually help too with extending the wear of the polish. So that's one possibility. Now I'm going to use our, the dotting tool on the next thing. Oh, not the dotting tool, the um, bobby pin. I'm just going to refresh the polish a little bit. You may find that you have to do that because they do, you know, start to dry out. And this time we're going to just randomly put dots. I'm not very good at random, as you can see. I kind of place them quite. But as you go up the nail a bit, you want to put less dots. And take your other colour, just kind of repeat the process. So if you've got really bad chipping on your nails, you, you know, work at making sure that you put a dot where your chips are. Just to make the chips less obvious. So if you've got them right down on the end, you could make sure you put dots right down on the end just to cover those up. And nobody's really going to know unless you tell them that you are covering up chips. Make sure you let it dry and you have another idea for how to cover up some chips on the end of your nail. So now we're going to go on to this next finger. And we're going to use our toothpick, which is quite a bit smaller on the end. And I'm going to use it to do a similar idea to this one, but in a much smaller kind of way. Because as you can see, it makes much smaller dots. But I'm going to be a little bit more aware of where I put my dots. And what I'm actually going to do is build up on the sides more than in the middle. So that we get kind of like a V on the nail. And then I'm just going to take some of the lighter colour. Which is starting to get a little thick, but that's alright. 
and just do one line along the top of it just to add a little bit of more interest to it. And there you have a different idea on, I mean, and you don't even have to do these on a couple of day old type nails. You could just do this right from the very start. So I'm going to go back to the dotting tool for the last one. And this is going to be more of an all over the nail type design. And this comes off of the one I did the other day. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use the darker one, do a dot and a dot and then another dot. And kind of finesse it a little bit. And you have a little love heart. Now this is a good technique, um, like a little design like this, or flowers or something like that. It's a good idea if you've painted your nails and then accidentally knocked them and put like a dent in them. So instead of completely removing the nail polish, you can just put a little design like this on over the top of where you put the dent in your nail polish and nobody is going to be any the wiser they're going to think that you did love hearts on your nails right from the very start nobody is going to be any the wiser unless you tell them that you were covering up you know, a mistake on your nail, they're just going to think you're just super talented. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Just going to think you like doing nail art. I'm going to do one more. This pink has got very, very thick. And I dunked it right in the thickest bit. Um, I keep, if you're wondering what I'm doing off camera, I've got like a little cotton thingy that I just uh, wipe the end of the brush, uh, the dotting tool off on when it gets too thick and gluggy on the end. It's usually better if it's had some nail polish remover put on it, but I haven't done that. So, here we have another way of hiding imperfections in your nails. So, that is what we have for today. A way to extend the life of your manicure or hide any imperfections that you might have after painting your nails. And nobody's going to be any other wiser. Give it a few minutes to dry and then top it off with some kind of top coat. Today I am using Out the Door, which I have to say is not my favourite top coat. Um, after months of trying different ones and everything, I'm pretty much going back to Seshvi. So add a layer of top coat and you are good to go and get an extra few days out of your manicure and nobody is going to be any the wiser that there was anything wrong with your manicure in the first place. So that's it guys. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish up videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!